What is going on fellas? It's me Winko and I hope you guys are doing great and today I've got a little bit different type of a video for you guys. As you probably know, most of the supporters of this channel are really interested in music in general. At this point I decided to give you a small guideline how you can build up your first budget family home studio setup and how you can upgrade in the new future. So stay tuned and let's get right in. Welcome back to the channel, my name is Rinko, I'm a music producer, guitarist and content creator. If you're interested in music in general, please consider hit the subscribe button, that would help me a lot. But so far so good, let's get back right into our topic. There are 5 must have items that you're gonna need before you can get started with your first recording session. We're gonna break it down in two sections for each items. First of all, I give you my budget friendly recommendation which is completely fine for beginners to work with and after that I give you my personal recommendation which I'm actually preferring for my recordings in year 2022. Number one in this list is a PC whether you believe me or not you will need a PC or laptop to create music. There are a couple of methods to do the same thing on your smartphone or tablet but in my opinion these are not the tools you should go for if you want to grow or take music making much more seriously. But fortunately you'll be completely fine if you've got a normal working PC with a decent performance level like the Intel i5, the 6th generation or above and I think it is nothing special anymore in year 2022. The only specs you should care about is your storage at least 50 gigabytes and your RAM capacity from 4 up to 8 gigabytes. You have to keep it in mind if you're working with smaller RAM capacities you'll be significantly frustrated while working on your projects because your whole system's gonna freeze or jiggle and you're gonna crush your device instead your track. So my personal recommendation for this item my ladies and gentlemen is the MacBook Air M1 the basic model. The basic model comes only with 8 gigabytes of RAM but it needs every single task without any kind of issues. But the deal breaker for this laptop is its insane battery life without dropping performance while working in battery mode like most of these Windows laptops out there does. Which means you can master, edit, mix your projects when and wherever you want to with its highest performance level. I know it costs a lot of money starting price at 999 bucks but every cent on this device is worth it for me. Number 2 of this list is a DAW, a digital audio workstation. This is where actually where all the magic happens. This software allows you to do all these fancy music stuff on your PC. It is actually like a workbench where you're gonna work all day long for your precious works. That's why the decision of a DAW is so damn important because the DAW will decide how comfortable you can actually create your own music. The most known DAWs out there is Studio One from Prisoners, Cubase from Steinberg, Ableton Live from Ableton and Logic Pro from Apple. The first three options are available on Mac OS and Windows but Logic Pro is still exclusive for Apple users. And in my opinion guys, Studio One, the studio version of it, I know it's a little bit confusing but this is the best DAW you can get for 50 bucks right now on the market. It gives you tons of software instruments which sounds pretty decent and customizable, a lot of sound presets and a dark minimalistic design which makes this software so intuitive to use. All the beginners out there will definitely appreciate how this DAW is actually build up. No matter what OS you're using for this amount of money you'll never get a better option somewhere else. If you're considering about purchasing it, Prisoners is offering you a free version of it to get a better feeling of Studio One and try out all these basic functions of this software so you guys should definitely check it out. Now let's talk about my preferred DAW right now on the market. Well for my purpose of use I recommend you Logic Pro from Apple. 
There are a couple of reasons why I'm using this software instead of Studio One, which I really love. But first of all, I'm a Mac user, means Logic Pro works much more efficient with my hardware, quicker boot up and less power consumption or the battery doesn't get me less strained. But the biggest argument for using this software is the great cost performance. I've never thought about using this word to describe an Apple made product in my life. You actually have to pay 200 bucks, it is much more ex expensive than 50 bucks for the cheaper model of Studio One. But it comes with tons of features with the cheaper version of Studio One cannot offer you, like the CD ready software instruments, smart temp adjustments, professional sound effects, and a great pitch correction for my awful vocal. Prisoners is offering a couple of different versions of Studio One, like the professional version, its price range is like 200 bucks, so the same like the Logic Pro, and has got no limitations anymore compared to the cheaper Studio version. For example, the license of installing third-party plugins, which you will definitely need to get the same functionality like Logic Pro. So the key of the whole story is you have to pay extra for these plugins which you want to like to have, especially plugins for pitch correction are damn expensive like Melodyne the basic model costs you like 100 bucks the most popular one Autotune Pro costs you like about 400 bucks these plugins are definitely great to use they're definitely better than the pitch correction of Logic Pro but they are much too expensive for a home studio setup and that's why Logic Pro is good to go for all Apple users out there. Number 3 in this list is a microphone whether you want to sing or play an instrument a microphone will work as ears of your PC which picks up your hopefully beautiful sound properly. There are not much of things you have to care about before picking one up in a music store but you have to make sure that your microphone has got an XLR connection and not a USB one because a USB microphone has got its own sound card and power delivery built in which can be perfect in some cases like podcasts where you want to keep the whole setup compact as possible but in music industries audio quality is key. That's why you have to choose the combination out of an audio interface and microphone and about an audio interface I talk a little bit in detail afterwards. As a budget microphone I can recommend you the AKG P120 for around 70 bucks. This is a really compact microphone, great build quality, the body is made completely out of metal and comes with a built in pop filter. If you can find a deal under 50 bucks on eBay you should definitely pick one up. The microphone which I actually prefer right now is the SD Electronics X1S microphone for around 160 bucks. This boy has got a bigger membrane compared to the AKG P120 which allows you a clearer pickup of your sound. And all these microphones on the market has got their own characteristics how they pick up the sound and for example some of the Rode microphones are sounding much more brighter than other companies. And with this X1S I can get a nice natural sound which makes for me much easier to edit it in the post. Number 4 on this list is an audio interface. An audio interface is a gear which connects the digital and audio world together. First of all an audio interface lets you input all your vocals and instruments to your PC and gives you the possibility to monitor your live sounds without any kind of noticeable latency and this feature is definitely necessary if you want to sing or play along to an existing track. For example if you want to play an awesome lick on your electric guitar. I I think it is impossible if you cannot actually hear what you're playing. But most of these audio interfaces are definitely useful and already budget friendly if you're not choosing the high end models out of the professional areas. They are definitely too pricey. The common companies which are producing audio interfaces are Prisoner, Steinberg or Focusrite. In most cases you can get a device from one up to six inputs but I recommend your device with two inputs with two combi jack inputs means you can use the these two inputs for XLR and line in which make this device so much versatile. For this product my ladies and gentlemen my personal recommendation is actually the same like the budget friendly recommendation I'm using the prisoners audio box i2. This blue compact guy is not the latest and not the most beautiful model on the market but really does its job perfectly. It has these two combi jack inputs, separate volume control and line out for studio speakers if you want to use them in a 48 volt power delivery for the XLR microphone. You can get this for around 130 bucks right now 
So far so good, sounds like a decent product but nothing special. The deal breaker for this item for me and I think for all the beginners out there is that they're including their awesome DAW software studio one, the studio version of it, completely free with this device. I mean you can get a great package for this small amount of money and it is unbelievable. For example Focusrite is not including a DAW software which means you have to calculate with an extra charge of at least 50 bucks. Number 5 in the list is the MIDI keyboard. The reason why I said this one to number 5 is because it is not the most necessary one in the whole list you know it depends on what kind of a musician you are are you a singer songwriter are you a player of an instrument or are you a one man band like me this midi keyboard will definitely make your workflow much more efficient but for a person who actually plays every single sound which has to be recorded a MIDI keyboard could be a little bit useless, but for all the people out there, or most of the people out there, this keyboard would definitely make your workflow much more efficient. It is something like a normal keyboard with a specific type of a layout made for musicians. You can control with it your software instruments without typing everything in. Let's say you've got a piano melody with couple of chords of course you can type everything in with your mouse and click on each sound which has to be played but a midi keyboard lets you do the same process in a much more intuitive way mm, yeah for this item my personal recommendation is actually the budget friendly recommendation Again, my daily driver is the Mini Mark II from Akai Professionals. It is a simple build compact piece of plastic, but for my usage completely great. It comes for around 90 bucks, so it is really, really cheap. It's not bulky, minimalistic design, great drum pads, built in, lightweight, and it's plug and play. Of course, the keys are definitely not premium, they feel honestly like a toy compared to a normal keyboard, but I don't use them to play on a live stage or play the greatest solos in my track, it is like I won't pay so much of money for a super expensive gaming setup if I actually only play Fortnite. <laughs> Nevertheless this product is completely fine without any kind of fancy features but it should be definitely a great choice for all beginners out there. So this was my small guideline for building up your first budget friendly home studio setup and I can upgrade it in the new feature. Leave a comment down below if it was helpful, if not dislike this video or whatever, but all the products which I've mentioned in my video are linked down in my description, so check it out. And that's it from my side guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this work, thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, and I catch you up in my next video.